How is our budding British astronaut today, comrade? I'm not at all sure about this one, comrade. He still doesn't believe he's in Russia and keeps digging me in the ribs and shouting some strange sort of war cry. What kind of noise? Go on yourself! <laughs> We'd better have him in. Comrade McQuirter. <laughs> it is good to see you, comrade. I'm having a ball here, you know. I tell you, what, what amazes me is that, is that trouble you fellas go to, you know what I mean? Oh, yes. We, we take our work very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the funny accent and everything. It's terrific. I tell you, where are you actually from? I am Eastern Bloc. Oh, no, I'm the same. I'm a Denison Bloc. <laughs> not understand. The comrade commissar is from Leningrad. Oh, I know we are. Just do it by spring button now. <laughs> Please, comrade, take a seat. Oh, uh, yes, it is. It is clear you do not fully understand, you see. <laughs> this is Russia. You are here to train as astronaut and to take part in historic space flight. <laughs> You guys, you, you take the biscuit, really. I, I didn't think you were going to all this trouble, but... Well, okay, you know, I rumbled you when you tried to get me on. I was on a plane coming out here, you know what I mean? Honestly, really, I, I've had a ball, but... Well, I know who you really are. Right, Jeremy? <laughs> I do not understand. <laughs> Beatles about. <laughs> You're Jeremy Beetle. <laughs> The comrade commissar never beetles. Of course not. I am Vladimir Hansov. And I am Vladimir Glovsov. I'm Vladimir Pesto. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you trying to tell me you're, you're real Russian? I mean, and, and did you seriously think I, I, would, I would want to be some kind of human cannonball? <laughs> I did have an idea, you know, I'd like to be a star, but no, a shooting star. Are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's no one. Comrade, comrade, what about Glasnost? Oh, well, just a wee one with a lot of one. <laughs> Let him go, comrade commissar. No, we cannot change the program at this late stage. Comrade McQuirt, you must realize we are trying to embrace perestroika. Oh, is that the wee bird I saw in the hall? <laughs> What a pair of strikers she has, eh? <laughs> oh, well, that's different. If she's gone, I'm gone. Splendid. Now, this afternoon, we would like to make small tests just to see how you react to weight loss. Oh, I need to do that. I've done that. I've done that. What? Is the anti-gravity unit at Cambridge? No, the Weight Watchers Club in Coatbridge. <laughs> this will not prepare you for the test. This is zero gravity field. You do not actually lose weight. It is all to do with mass. Ah, oh, well, there's our first wee problem, I think. <laughs> What's that? I'm a Protestant. <laughs> that is of no importance. Right. Now, tomorrow afternoon, we would like to make further tests, this time to see how you react to G-force. Oh, no need to worry about that. No. I've stopped wearing G-strings, you see. <laughs> oh, I found out that we were nipping a wee bit, you know. <laughs> Especially in the hot weather. The comrade commissar speaks of pain and constriction, which can bring water to the eyes. That's a tight G-string. <laughs> now, if all of these tests prove acceptable to us, what? you would then have to take trial orbit flight with comrade Glavsov. Now, are there any special arrangements you would wish to make? Well, I tell you what, you bring a crate of vodka, I'll bring the cans of heavy. <coughs> 
Comrade Commissaire. Yes, 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 yes. Perhaps you're right. But Comrade McWhirter, on second thoughts, maybe you are not the man we are looking for. Oh. We seek a man without responsibilities. Someone who would be prepared to expose himself to the world. As he jumps around the earth at other people's expense. Well, that's me exactly. What? You are trained explorer? No, I'm a Motherwell District counselor. 